Peace. This is your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo, and you already know what it is, man. You're rocking with the best. You heard? So, uh, today I am enjoying the sun in Chicago. What's up, everybody in Chicago? Let the people start piling in. We got a lot to talk to you about today. Work, 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 work. You right? You got you got to grind, man. If you want to be an overachiever in this world, baby, you got to work, 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 work. That's that's a fact. And you're gonna upset some people. You're gonna upset some people. When you start putting yourself out there, you have to understand that you become a target, man. My brother always told me that. He's like, look, man, you're young, you're black, you're smart, you know, you move different. You are a target. A target for anybody. Anybody that's trying to come up on you, man. You become a target. The more successful you become, the more of a target you become. Now, I knew by me putting myself out there on social media on see the thing is this man I don't hide I don't have to hide anything I'm I'm not on bullshit so I'm not hiding anything you know what I mean so what I do I put it out on front street because my shit is legit my shit is on point you dig so because I put my phone number out there I do expose myself to the elements. You know, greasy people, people that are looking for a come up. You know, just just any type of person that that may think that they can come up on me. No. No, 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 no. Listen. What up, Derek? Listen, man, I understand times is hard. To, you know, I, I, I'm not even on celebrity status. You know what I mean? Just for people to be scheming to try to come up on me, you guys are bugging. You guys, look, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Let, let, let that just marinate right there. But I, I want you guys to be aware of Derek, like Kelvin, like like my other uh, buddy Kelvin in Canada, who's doing uh, you know black comic books and stuff. I'm meeting amazing, amazing people. 
but at the same time, I'm meeting some some fuck boys and some some ratchet ass chicks too that are hitting my lineup and they they're only looking for a come up. You know what I mean? And they're trying to come up on me and like whatever perception that they have of me on social media, you know, maybe they think like, you know, maybe I can try to extort this dude. I, I don't know what's going on in their brain, man. <laughs> I don't know if they think I'm, you know, from Utah, Wyoming, the suburbs or something like that. I don't know, man. But I just want you guys to be aware of when you put yourself out there, you you expose yourself to the elements and the people of the world, you will have people that will scheme on you. They want to get close to you. They want to understand your operation and then they turn around and flip and, and try to ruin you in the process. So I just want you guys to be very aware. I'm, I'm not saying that I want you guys to not make these videos because it's very important that you get your brand out there. It's very important that you um, promote your business, promote your, your, your phone number, your location. What about what are services that you have going on? Don't let that shit detour you. Don't stop, man. Don't stop. What did I say, bro? Uh, the hater got their job too. You're absolutely right. You know what I mean? Uh, a hater has a, a, their job too, but what I'm sp speaking on specifically are people that are trying to come up on you. A hater will just talk, right? Like, no matter how much good a Barack Obama does or how many baskets Michael Jordan scores, there's always going to be someone to hate him. That's true. Now, you have to look out for the people that start scheming on you. Those are different. Uh, that's a different element of people right there. Those are the people, you know, that, that are scheming on Michael Jordan and his that those are the people that are scheming on Bill Cosby and his son. You know what I mean? Those are the people that want to disrupt your way of living in order to profit or capitalize off of your hard work and your uh, your your diligence. You you know what I'm saying? That's why you see people walking around with bodyguards. That's why you see people walking around with security. Can you blame them though? Can you really blame them? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say, hey, hey, Jay Z walking around with security, man. He ain't hood no one. What the fuck is that about? He ain't got. You know what I mean? He ain't got uh, what a, a street credibility anymore because he's walking around with Secret Service security. When you start really achieving mass success, you'll realize how much people begin to target you. And it's not hard to target you anymore. Because all you do is go on social media, look up your profile, follow you a couple of places, and then if you announce they say, hey, I'm going to be here, you know, doing a, a hiring or, or a live event, they'll show up to it. They'll show up to it and be like, hey, man, I've been watching all your shows, this and that. Good looking. You inspire me. Now, mind you, this is a very, very small pocket of people that, that scheme on you like this. But the ones that do, you have to be very, very cautious of them, man. Very cautious of them. So what I'm saying is don't stop, man. Keep pushing forward. Keep promoting your brand. Get out there. You got to you gotta upset some people, man. You got to upset some people. Yeah, you're right. What'd you say? You got to protect the money maker, which is you, no doubt. You know, also, it, it is very important, you know, as you begin to accumulate mass success, you got to look out for yourself. You got to look out for your family, you know, because people are scheming, man. They are. They're looking for a come up. And, you know, if they think that they can come up on you, they're going to do it. Look at all of these women that target uh, 
these NBA players, these basketball players, uh, football players, uh, baseball players, you know, at one time the, the, the athlete thought the person really was interested in them, right? But then turns around and extorts them and extorts them for big money. Hey, if you don't want this information to get out, give me $1.1 million. If you don't want me to do this, pay me. <laughs> Man, dude, like they're out here for real. They're out here for real. And I'm saying this, and I'm not revealing too much about my situation because there's there's some things pending right now. But um, I'm going through a situation like that right now. You dig? Um, and the lawyers had to get involved, you know, um, they, they, they think they have a come up until they get come up on. <laughs> so you have to be careful out here when you're putting yourself out there. It could be another business that's trying to bring you down, you know? Hey, Derek, don't you, you have a closing line, don't you? You got a t-shirt company? Put your information for your uh, t-shirt company on here. Like, plug it in. I'll give it a shout out and all that. Like, I, when I did my t-shirt stuff, uh, let's just say, like, in, in a very, very short time, I, I was rocking and roll, brother. I was rocking and rolling. Black Alpha. Black Alpha Gear. Check out Black Alpha Gear. Uh, Derek just put his link on there. Check him out. You, you might see some stuff that you really like out there, man. Um, the, the closing line is... It's an interesting uh, industry to be in. You know what I mean? I, I liked it. The only thing is... it required, I started off with uh, three business partners... Um, and I'm sorry, it was two other business partners, so a total of three of us, and the capital was beginning to run out. We were landing more stores that had uh, capital to fulfill those orders, so definitely be on top of your cash flow, because I wouldn't want to see you go through the same mistakes that I went through. Um, after a while, my partner's dropped off and then it became just me and running a closing line by yourself is difficult I don't care who it is man running a closing line is very difficult and it's very expensive but get the right team um, hire the right people get interns Josh Cheney what up baby breaker breaker um, hire the right team what, uh, what I would do is I would hire uh, interns and stuff from colleges and stuff like that that wanted to gain the experience. They would come up with the illest design too because they're in the moment. They, this is their time. So if one of these young cats tell you, yo, this shit is hot right here. It could be an all-over floral print on a shirt. Listen to them. Give it, give it a shot. See, put in a couple of put a couple of mock-ups up there, right, Derek? Put a couple of mock-ups of just a design, like prototypes, and see how many hits you get. See how many people would, like, type up some shit like this. Uh, would you buy this item? And it'll be like a, get a real good graphic designer, have them get the silhouette of a shirt, and put a floral uh, print all over the joint. And ask your audience, would you buy this shit? Now, depending on the amount of response that you get, then you know, hey, I may have something here. Now, if you only get two likes and shit, don't make that joint. But if you get about 100 people saying that shit is hot, yeah, I'd rock that. Or they're putting, or with t-shirts, right? T-shirts is like Chicago, New York, my bad, everybody. I, that was, I just got a phone call. But I was saying, um, places like Chicago, New York, L.A., uh, even England and stuff like that, they match 
their t-shirts with their sneakers. What I would do and what I have done, which uh, allowed me to have a very strong sell-through, and if you guys don't know what a sell-through is, that means as soon as that shit hit the stores, that shit sells the fuck out. We were selling out. Ask about me, B. So, you want to go to some of these stores and see what the hottest sneakers are at the moment, right? Or maybe um, go on some of these websites, like, uh, you know, these sneaker websites that are, like, really, really up-to-date to sneakers, and find out whatever sneaker is the hottest that's coming out at the moment, and make a t-shirt geared around that sneaker that you know that sneaker is going to sell the fuck out, right? And then you put together like a little bit of a, a style chart. A style chart, meaning this shirt goes perfect with these sneakers right here. Now you're kind of dressing your audience. If they didn't think about it, you're dressing them now. They have, people are visual people. You know, people are visual. They, they, they think in pictures. So if you can lay a foundation, a lay an image down so they can actually see what they are, what the outfit would look like, bro, I'm telling you, that right there is going to take your closing line into a whole different level. Um, another thing about closing line, um, your hang tags. Don't make some generic ass hang tag that just have your name and the company on there and the SKU number and the size. Nah, brother. Not at all. Do not do that. Um, shit, I don't think I have one in here. I don't think I have one in here. My, um, you know what? Go to my YouTube channel and look up how to brand your closing line. Go to my YouTube channel. Gullywear Studios, I go to Toledo, and look up how to brand your closing line. I give some amazing tips on that. Some amazing tips on that. One of the things that I did that set me apart, uh, we were at in the Chicago, this high-end Chicago store called uh, Self Conscious. Shout out to V Dot, uh, and then we were at another high-end boutique in Chicago. Um, called Juggernaut Chicago. Now, to get into these stores, you have to hit a certain price point. So you have to ask yourself, where, what is my price point? And are they gonna put my t-shirts next to the $10 shirts? Are they gonna put my t-shirts in between the $20 and $25 shirts? My shirts were going for like $30, $35 and up. And in order to uh, position your brand in a price point like that there are certain things you have to do in order to not look generic like everybody else brand and one of the things I did I designed a booklet hang tag so on the front was the was the I'll, I'll actually make another video like later on tonight so you guys can see it but on the front was the logo and everything like that right on the inside it said what our mission was, what our company represented. On the other side, it represented our social mission. Our social mission was every purchase, we would donate 10% towards a water foundation to bring water to third world countries so, they, so we can provide clean water to third world countries. And then on the back, you had the website, the size, how much the price was. Now, the reason why we did that is because People want to know more about your brand nowadays. People want to read about you. Who started this brand? Why did they start this brand? Um, what is their mission? What are they trying to accomplish? These are very important to the end customer because this is what's going to convince them to say, you know what? This isn't just a brand I want to buy to just match these kicks today. This is a brand that I want to continue to support because they're going somewhere with this. This is the reason why he started it. He grew up in the hood. He uh, he was an orphan. This and that. That's why he named the company what it's named. He has a social mission. He wants to help people along the way. You know what I'm saying? So think about that. And look at your hang tag 
reassess your hang tag and saying, am I speaking to my consumer? Does my consumer know what my company represents without going to my website? Without going to my website. These are little branding tics, tips and strategies that help my closing line become successful. Um, we were able to get our closing line on different uh, celebrity artists. We were able to do um, fashion shows. We were high requested. The problem is, like I said, we did not manage the funding correctly. And we were running out of capital. So that's why... I had to dissolve, not really dissolve it, but I had to rearrange the structure of the company. Now, Gullyware brings information and to help people like you, Derek, other people that may have other products, to help them market, strategize, and become more successful than we did. We made the mistakes, now we turn around and then we show you what not to do and what to do so you can become successful at it. So if you guys have any questions uh, later, just drop it in the comment section, man, and uh, I'll be sure to answer them for you. And I will definitely like your page, Derek. Um, one love to you and your family and everybody, and uh, you know, holla at your boy, man. You already know what it is. Tiger Toledo. Peace.